Welcome to Tech Forward, the podcast exploring the exciting intersection of technology and education. We're going to be discussing the Virtual Linguistics Campus, or VLC, and their innovative approach to integrating generative AI into their courses. It sounds incredibly interesting. It is. VLC has taken a really forward-thinking approach. They've woven AI seamlessly into their platform, offering students three main ways to interact with generative AI to enhance their learning experience. Let's break them down. Great. Let's start with Working Mode 1. Mode 1 is all about marking and interpreting text. Students can select a passage and use the OpenAI help block to get an explanation or a translation. The cool thing is, they can even have the results read aloud. A real boon for auditory learners. That's fantastic for accessibility. And the translation feature? What languages are supported? The target language for translation depends on the student's browser settings, making it super convenient and personalized. Very clever. Okay, let's move on to Mode 2. Mode 2 is a straightforward Q&A system. Students can type any question into the OpenAI Help Input field, click Ask, and get an immediate answer, again with the option of having it read aloud. This provides an on-demand support system for clarifying concepts or exploring related topics. That's incredibly efficient. And I imagine this is particularly helpful for clarifying tricky grammar points or vocabulary nuances. Precisely. It addresses questions promptly and keeps the learning momentum going. And what about Mode 3? Mode 3 is more integrated into the course structure, specifically in the How to Proceed activities and the Questions and Terms sections of AI-enhanced courses. Students can click a VLC OpenAI symbol next to a question, sending it to the OpenAI help system for a detailed answer. So it's directly embedded within the course workflow, making it even more seamless for the student. Exactly. It's a really thoughtful approach to integration. This all sounds very impressive, but how does VLC ensure the accuracy and relevance of the AI-generated responses? All answers are based on OpenAI's general knowledge database, combined with content embeddings from the specific VLC course. This ensures that the AI's responses are relevant to the learning material and accurate. And are there any limitations to the AI's responses? Yes. Answers are limited to around 600 to 800 characters, 200 tokens. This keeps the responses concise and focused. Makes sense. And what about accessibility? How does VLC cater to diverse learners? The OpenAI help system has shortcuts. E for explain and T for translate. In the title bar for easier mobile access. This improves accessibility for users on different devices. That's really well thought out. So, to recap, VLC has incorporated generative AI into its courses in three distinct yet complementary ways, direct text processing, on-demand Q&A, and integrated course support. All this while maintaining accuracy, conciseness, and accessibility. Precisely. And the best part? All VLC courses are free, including certified courses. So there is no barrier to accessing this cutting-edge AI-enhanced language learning experience. That's fantastic. So listeners, if you want to explore the benefits of generative AI, be sure to check out the Virtual Linguistics Campus. You can create a free account and self-enroll in any of their 70 courses. That's right. Visit the Virtual Linguistics Campus website to learn more. This has been another episode of Tech Forward. Thanks for listening. Until next time.